Hi guys, my name's Subtruder, I'm the man on the Silver Mountain, and welcome back to Subnautica. Now, between, I've just realised something that I need to just quickly change. There we go. Um, so, whilst I was uh, away between episodes, I went and built us our Leviathan hunting sub here, rather unsurprisingly called Hunter. Um, but now that we've got it, now we need the upgrades. Now the first thing that we've got, which I already had some of the materials for, is we need to improve the um, the Seamoth depth module that we picked up from the Aurora before. Um, but also then we're going to need the sonar and we're going to need the power efficiency module and we're going to need the hull reinforcement. So the hull reinforcement, I think we've already got everything we need for that. I think we've still got enough deep shrooms to create more polyaniline. But then the one thing that I'm not sure about is the magnetite. And I don't... Th I think the... The hull reinforce not hull reinforcement, the depth module also requires magnetite. So this might, considering we're going to have to go across to the... Yeah, it does. Considering we're going to have to go across to the volcanic island, um, this might also be our way of getting speedy back. So I think that's, that's the plan. We're going to need a lot of magnetite. We're going to need to get hold of some rubies as well at some point, but we know now that they're like down there. Um, but what we're going to do, how we're going to do this, is we're going to um, we're going to take Flimsy over here up to the floating island and leave Flimsy up there. We're going to take the teleporter through to the the mountain base or through to the mountain. At which point then we'll go and get um, we'll go and get hold of. Speedy, and then once once we've got hold of Speedy, then what is that? What what creature is that? The it's saying is it says there's something on our radar there, but. Can't see it. Strange. Let's just let's just leave. But yeah. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get hold of. Uh, we're gonna go jump down, get hold of Speedy, bring Speedy back because you know Speedy's important. And then once we've got Speedy back. Then, you know, whilst whilst we're there, whilst we're there grabbing Speedy, we'll grab, like, as much Magnetite as we can get hold of. And in theory, I think we can jump down into the caves and get Magnetite from the caves in the, in the mountain rather than kind of going straight down kind of down uh, under the water and, and stuff like that. Ooh. Engine powering down. Okay. So now we're here. Do we have water? Yes. We don't have food, but that's fine. We'll we'll uh, they do. Okay. So hopefully nothing's gonna come out of the deep and and attack flimsy there whilst we're away. Yeah we should be fine. So what we're going to do is going to do that, and where's my propulsion cannon? There we go. In fact, we should probably also that in number one, that in number three. There we go. Yeah. So we've we've got our our bits and pieces sorted. We've got ourselves set up. Um, so now all we need to do get over to where we need to go 
and then we can crack on. Because I want to get the magnetite first before I start just building everything else. Because we've got most of the materials for what we need, so we can do those whenever. But you know, I could do those between episodes. But here, this is stuff that we actually need. So let's go have a little adventure whilst we go get it. Okay, through we go. on my screen. Right. Let's head down, shall we? <gasps> Skip past the uh, the cave crawlers because nobody likes them. Also, apparently my FPS is going up and down a lot, and I don't quite understand why, so I'm sorry if it's a bit juddery at the moment, guys. Can I? No. So I don't know why it does this sometimes. Sometimes it runs perfectly, and other times it just ha it decides that it doesn't want to, to play ball. And I mean in terms of the frame rate for recording. What I'm seeing is fine. But hey ho, right? I doubt. Well, let's let's go around and see if if the the doorway is is open. I bet you anything, it's gone and got itself locked up again, so that we can't just get inside. That sounds yeah, it's running. I feel like that's a bug that is persisting at the moment, because we've unlocked these doors time and time again. Um, but unless it opens when I just walk up to it now. No, still need a key. <sighs> All right then. But yeah, let's let's go. Let's go head down. In theory, could very well be some magnetite down this cliff. I think that was a Reaper Leviathan screaming that we heard at a very long range. Yeah, sounds like it. I'm going to have to assume that's on the other side of the cliff because if it suddenly turns up and decides to try and kill me oh well there's all the magnetite that we need oh Jesus go away right okay well we know where it is so if we spot any more on our way that there's a load in these big chunks but it doesn't really help us when we don't have Hardy with us. So what we're going to do is we're going to go get Speedy. Ah, probably. Oh no, I don't have my thing equipped. Where is it? Just going to skirt in here. Get hold of Speedy, who we have not seen for a very long time. Hi, Speedy. <laughs> Welcome aboard, Captain. Ah, okay. So what I want to do is come out of here, head 
ground over this way to where we saw those big outcroppings of magnetite and see if we can find whoops didn't mean to do that can we see any magnetite that's just sat by itself in here Again, I'm kind of happy the we don't have to worry about. Um, so there's more magnetite just in big clumps. Does it not just spawn individually anymore? Is that a thing? Back off. Go away. I don't have time for you. Okay, what we're going to do then is crash into stuff, apparently. Because it is incredibly dark all of a sudden. Probably because it's night time. Right, we're going to stay high. We're going to stay near the surface so the Reapers aren't going to come straight up and get us because we're in the wrong Seamoth that is not best equipped to deal with them. So we'll stay near the surface. Didn't mean to hit the end of the gun there. Then we're going to head all the way back towards our various, our cluster of important things that, yeah, there's a, a reaper right below us. So we're just going to speed straight past it. Hope it doesn't sneak up underneath us and grab us, because if it does, it's a bastard. We just need to get round past here, and then we can just straighten up and head straight home. And again, if we keep kind of high in the water, then the reaper won't be, it won't come up to get us. In theory, we'll stay outside of its range. But yeah, we'll we'll get back, and then it looks like. It looks like the way we're going to have to do this is um, to get Hardy, bring him out here, and then, um, like, we could take him through the portal, but that's, I don't know, that, that might be a bit more difficult, but... This is the thing. Of the of the Leviathans, the ghosts are probably the easiest to dodge, but they they do the most damage. The Reapers are the most annoying and most generally dangerous, uh, in my opinion. Just because they are more present, I suppose, and because they they kind of sweep in and and mess you up um kind of pre at, at times just completely out of the dark um but then the the sea dragons are the the hardest to combat directly just because the sea dragons are they've got uh, an awful lot of biting force up up front, they, they've got their big claws to grab you with and all that kind of thing. But then right, let's let's go up and get flimsy with this. Speedy can park inside and then we can bring them both back down. Um, but yeah, the the seat dragon just seems like the the kind of big all rounder. Like, very, very hardy, very, very potent. Um, and then also it's got that ranged kind of fire attack as well. So, you know, it's it's got a lot going for it, as it were. Um, in terms of just potential to mess us up. 
So, you know, there's that. Uh, uh, this is why this is one of the reasons why I'm interested in what we what we're going to see in the Arctic biome because the Arctic biome, you know, that sounds fascinating with the amount of stuff that they um, that they could put in, and you know we've we've got other creatures that we'll probably never see represented in the game, you know, like the the huge leviathan. Whose skeleton we see in the Lost River? Um, who, whose body may very well, at least in part, like considering just how huge it was, um, its body may be somewhat responsible for the Bry. You know, it, let, let's let's say the the, for instance, it had um, kind of a, a lot of. Well, there was a lot of flesh and stuff like that there. Microbes leaving its body, um, increasing certain kind of chemical elements in the in the silt there that then potentially encouraged the greater flow. You know, I'm spitballing here. I don't know if it would be possible or not realistically, but, you know, we, this is a game that involves a psychic mega fish, essentially. So... Who knows? But again, it's like there's there's a lot that that could come from that, as it were. And I know that there have been people, kind of um, other YouTubers and, and people like that, who have been concepting what what is that? I want to know what that is. Oh, I know what it is. That little yellow marker is the crab squid that we've got inside there. Engine powering down. Let's go take a look, because that's that's hilarious. But it's 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 picking up. Our, our crabs, our, our own All systems pet online. crab squid. Let's park up here. Yeah, you guys can sit together for now. Welcome aboard, Captain. Right. Before we before we start making stuff for um, the hunter there, let's go and take a look. Because these these guys are like they're tiny. Where's crab squid? Oh, he's grown a little bit. He's bigger than he was. But like they're all still small because they have to be. But little little non-aggressive crab squid here you know he's he's apparently still picking up on the cyclops's radar which i think is hilarious but hey ho so the next the next creatures that i want to get for that are um for here are the the I mean if we could get Leviathans I would but I don't think we can. Um, but the ones that I want to get oh no wrong way there we go. The ones that I want to get are the 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 mesmers the the mind rape fish. Just because why not maybe an ampeel something like that as well. But we'll, we'll go and take a look for those later on. But sonar, uh, that's one of the ones that we need other stuff for. Okay, well, we've got lithium, we've got titanium, we've got diamonds. So let's go do the whole reinforcement first. And then we can take it. I think we've got enough polyaniline. I don't know if we've got everything that we need for a computer chip, but I would like to think that we do. So... Four diamonds... I'm sure we've got four diamonds. I'm sure I've picked up four diamonds and not done anything. Oh, well here are our deep shrooms. So we've got that. So we just need some gold to make that. I mean, we can make the copper. That's quartz. Should have some gold somewhere. It might be on... Ah, 
Four diamonds. Perfect. Ah, no space. Not so perfect. Okay, well let's let's. Oh, we need salt as well. Oh, well, we got salt. Salt we've got. Salt is fine. Um, let's drink that. Take salt first, and then we'll grab the water in a sec. But we we can make uh, hydrochloric acid. No problem. So there's that. Uh, electronics, we need the copper wire. Okay. So we need... Oh, we could grab the water that we've got here, because why not? And then we need the other diamond. Is that everything we need for the, the hull reinforcement? I want to say it is, but I could be wrong. Could have missed something. Yeah, okay, so we've got the whole reinforcement. What was. Okay, so we need some gold and a computer chip. I can never remember what we need for a computer chip, though. Um, computer chip, gold, table coral. Uh, we're going to need some more copper as well. I think we've still got table coral, don't we? Did we not? Thought we had. Oh, there's some gold. I thought we still had like a decent amount of table coral, or maybe we used it all up. like we used it all up. Either way, we can make ourselves some poly polyaniline. So there's that. Right, so... Now... Move to dish that. We need another load of... of um, yeah, we need more copper some more copper. So we need the table coral and some more gold. But in theory, we might... Uh, did I leave the table coral on? <gasps> Flimsy? Where are you, Flimsy? There you are. Let's take a look. Your blood oil. Your other stuff I don't need. Your gold. Which, you know, we'll take three of because I can't remember how much we need. There's more gold there plus lithium. Oh! Computer chip. Nice. Okay, well that solves solves that problem. Let's go up and what was that? I must have made that computer chip for some reason. Rubies. And table coral. Yeah, okay, it was all here. That's fine. Oh, battery to charge. Let's take that with us too. Okay, is there anything else in here? It's for a cyclops. Oh, we do have a purple tablet. Okay. We're still pretty... We're still doing okay on resources then, seemingly. The one thing that we, we need that we have absolutely none of is, is magnetite. Uh, yeah, we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. So far, we've we've got seemingly everything else, and that magnetite just seems to be a bit more of a pain in the ass to get hold of. Okay, so we've got that. Nope, that's prawn suit. Sonar, magnetite. So now we need now we need uh, magnetite for that, and we need. Magnetite for this as well, don't we? Yeah. So we need four magnetite. More would probably be good. So what modules do we already have? We've got energy efficiency and hull reinforcement. Okay. 
Let's just, uh, where are we? Fuck you in, and you in, and you in. Okay. Right, well, let's, let's slap all of the three modules that we've got into Hunter already. Because that way they, if they're supposed to stay there, then they can stay there. And if they're the depth module, where are we? Okay, so you, you can go in there, you can go in there, and you can go in there. So with the depth module, it just means we come and pull it out again, and that's fine. Um, and then I think we'll dump all of this stuff just in the locker over there. And we should probably get something to eat before we consider going out again. So let's just stick all of this. Didn't want to put that in there. Right. Yeah. So let's let's go up and grab something to eat and then Hmm. See so yeah, that that magnetite, we're gonna need to take Hardy over there. So the thing to do would be to try and avoid the Leviathan, stay high in ha in flimsy rather, with Hardy inside, deploy Hardy when we get there. But what I'm gonna do now is save, and we're we're coming up on half an hour, not quite, about 25 minutes from what I understand. Um, and so what I think we'll do is we'll make the next episode us going and getting that magnetite because then we can do all of the rest in one go and we can go leviathan hunting one of the ones that i want to start off with is the ghost leviathan maybe or should we just go straight for the reaper because i know where i want to tackle the reaper as well i want to tackle the reaper at the mountain so or at the mountain rather but the way that I want to do it involves Hunter and involves like us being prepared to, to tackle him. So, yeah, I think that's what we're going to do. I'm going to save again just to be 100% sure. And then next time, we're, we're going to go get that magnetite, probably as much of it as we can again. You know, may as well stock up on it. Um, at which point then, we'll come back, make the... the kind of improvements to um, to Hunter that we need to and then we're going Leviathan hunting. How exactly we're going to get deep enough with Hunter to take on a Sea Dragon that I'm probably going to have to think up a different strategy considering the, um, the Sea Moth getting down there is something that isn't likely to happen. But that might just mean us going at the Sea Dragon outside of a suit you know just going straight for it so um that i'll have to maybe see about but in regards to the the ghost leviathan in regards to the um the reaper we should be able to do this and it should be fine so that'll be the plan after we've made these improvements as said there are still other things i want to do as well like getting another couple of uh, creature eggs as well as also um, I said that I wanted to go back into creative mode and try and map out as much of the, the lower edge of the volcano that we're sat on as possible, as much of the play space as we can. So, you know, I'm, I'm interested in doing that. So maybe we'll do that before then we grab the last few things we need and we get off this planet in our shiny new rocket ship. But anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care. Thank you very much for watching, guys. If you enjoyed this video, then please drop us a like, share this video, and subscribe for more. And I'll see you in the video tomorrow. Take care.